exceptional architecture that floats. This futuristically designed houseboat, covered entirely in metal, is used as an architect's office. Each of these five houseboats on the Eilbeck Canal in the middle of Hamburg was designed by a different architect. It's Germany's first design houseboat settlement. Amelie Rost and Jörg Niederehe own this floating wooden house. The two architects designed their new home themselves and, just like their neighbors, convinced a panel of judges of their plans. We wanted it to look like a boat. The motto was houseboats, and we wanted to keep the mixture as recognizable as possible, so it's not just a floating house. That's why we have these curves and have kept the dynamic of a ship. And the upper story is set back, which allows us to surround it with a railing. We both come from Bavaria. We came here to be closer to the sea, closer to water. And then we had this opportunity to take part in the houseboat competition. It was like a dream come true. The houseboat has two stories. The living space is on the lower floor, 40 centimeters under the waterline. The pontoons under the house are fixed on steel pillars, so the current doesn't carry the house and its occupants down the canal. At first there was quite a lot of creaking and I couldn't figure out where the noise was coming from. So I went up every night with a flashlight to see if someone was there. Then I realized it was the gangway that was creaking and now it doesn't bother me anymore. A house is normally anchored securely to the ground. Here you feel the influence of nature. If the weather is bad, it moves and the boat starts creaking. Hamburg is leading the way here in Germany when it comes to living on the water. Down in the city's harbor, this floating house provoked an uproar when it was built four years ago. This new container construction is the largest floating office building in Germany. When the city of Hamburg opened the competition for 10 mooring spots for houseboats in the Eilbeck Canal, there were more than 80 applicants. Some of the entries were classic and similar to boats. With other designs, it was difficult to see how people were supposed to live in them. A panel of judges chose the best designs and awarded them planning permission. The panel was chaired by Jürgen Böge. There was a broad spectrum, and it was a lot of fun. What was especially interesting about it was that we had to decide on a type of construction that didn't really exist before. The term houseboat can be misunderstood in this context. It's much more about floating homes, as people say nowadays. Construction has started on four more floating homes just a few hundred meters from the original settlement. The first boat will be metal clad. It cost 400,000 euros. A wooden house is being built next door. Its residents are also in the trade. Marin Feind is an architect. Her husband is a construction engineer. They'll be moving into their floating home in just a few weeks' time. A houseboat is a real dream for us. We always had the idea of owning our own house or apartment but we didn't want to have to move out of Hamburg. And then we had the possibility of buying a houseboat. It's our own home and allows us to live in the city. Everything that floats in Hamburg has to comply with water laws, so the complex planning application system on land does not apply here, and the owners were free to experiment. We've definitely built our dream house on the water. You're a lot closer to nature, that's clear. You notice a lot more. Every kind of weather, strong winds, or if the canal freezes, that's very different. The floating homes on the Eilbeck Canal. In the middle of Hamburg, yet close to nature, the houseboats of the future.